Welcome back everybody. Welcome to the first installment of the new weekly tech news series. I'm very eager to hear your feedback. So let me know after the video in the comments below what you think. And to make things more interesting in these episodes, I'll be giving away a $20 Amazon gift card. All you got to do to win is one, subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell Two, like the video and three, comment something interesting down below. And I'll announce the winner of the giveaway in next week's episode. Today we're going to be talking about ransomware and specifically WannaCry. And if you don't know what WannaCry is, here is a quick rundown. WannaCry is a program that infects older versions of Windows and once infected, it will encrypt your files and demand ransom in exchange for decrypting your files. Here's a picture of the ransom note that shows on your computer if you have WannaCry installed. And up to this date, it's infected roughly a quarter million computers worldwide. So where did it come from? It's actually a very interesting origin story. So the NSA, the National Security Agency, identified an exploit uh, within older versions of Windows, and they kept it for themselves for national security usage. Uh, and Windows has since patched that, but I'll talk about that more later. And then a few months after they discovered it, a group called the Shadow Brokers hacked the NSA and released some information, including information about this exploit. And then the program WannaCry took advantage of this exploit to infect computers via local and internet connections. And to add on to that, it's not just infecting random people's computers, it's infecting important computers and computer systems, like Britain's national health system was infected, uh, Spain's FedEx was infected, and a lot of other important and vital companies and organizations. They typically demand between $300 and $600 worth of Bitcoin, but the worst part of it is you can't really safely get your files back from them. Like if you pay, there's no saying whether or not they'll actually give you your files back. And if even if they do give you your files back, there's no saying if they won't come back in two months and demand demand more money because you already proved that you're willing to pay for it. So you dealing with them and actually fulfilling the ransom is not a smart move. And there are fixes being worked on and released very frequently. The most recent one I heard of was Wana Kiwi. And if you haven't rebooted your computer yet, it should allow you to find the key and uh, decrypt your files that way. And there are new fixes being released very often. Uh, so we are getting to a point where we can fix it. So how can you protect yourself? Fortunately, it seems like the worst part is already over. The attacks have slowed down. However, there are more complex and more malicious versions being created because this was just a demonstration that this type of ransomware works. So that's very scary. The best defense you can have against this is just to keep your computer up to date. Windows released a patch for this in March uh, because obviously not everyone updates their computers right when they can. Most computers were still completely vulnerable to it. So just keep your computer up to date and that's about the most you can do uh, in regards to a program like this. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more content and as always, stay classy.